put it on to make him want to marry me. I put it on to make him want to marry me. I put it on to make him want to marry me. And it's real talk. You know how many girls can relate to this? Louis Prada Gucci. Pop them tags. Pop them tags. I know some high class. Bougie chicks. This ad to a day on some movie. You look like the boy in my shoe. Say I got more shit under my belt than you will ever have. Because you old and enough, bitch. Psycho. You're 40. Look at you. You got you one deflated ass cheek. It's, it's, it's not working. It's like this. It's not working. Pop, 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 pop. Who drew this up? Who drew this up? My lawyer. You wildin'. Jocelyn is a real chick. She's real. Did you say Jocelyn? Yes, I said Jocelyn. She ride or die for her man. Her man is Stevie J. I'm sorry, no it's not. No it's not. That would be my man. No it's not, that's her man. So I mean, who told y'all that? Stevie J is her man. Her manager. Manager. That's her man. Her manager. manager. Them two together, it's like so some he was inseparable too? type of It's like too? some, oh yeah. You gotta explain to me what you talking about. Oh, she said that's my man. man. I seen it. Tell me, I'm confused. Tonight was supposed to be about me and my girlfriends kicking it, but once again, Stevie's got me all up. Did you not know that they were together or they were seeing each other or you just know that was the artist? I know they work together because he's her manager, but the whole intertwine, like, it's me up. Girl, I'm gonna go out of here. You know why. Honey, I am out of here. I just know when they throw drinks, drinks don't have no name on it. And I just got my hair done, and I didn't want to be around it. I immediately got out of harm's way. So you know I called Carly down. Girl, she already down. You ain't have to call that far. I called here just so we can get it on the table, because I know you got a few things you want to say to Absolutely. her. Absolutely. She got some issues. I got a couple issues with her. As long as she don't get in the way of my good cocktail <laughs> and my macaroni and cheese, because that's why I came here. But I'm going to say what time. I need to say to her. Absolutely. Hey, Miss Red. How are you? I'm wonderful. And Hi, yourself? Hi, boo. You look cute. Thank you. Uh, I do not come in love. <laughs> Have a seat. What's the deal? Girl, you look like you was going to go to, to a ray of carpet on the Grammys, but the knockoff one. It's not a good day to hate, trust me. I will never trust a woman with a, a rhinestone snake around her neck. You can't trust no woman like that. So what's up, mama? It's just been a few things that have been said. The first time I saw you, you didn't know the situation. You had no idea. Second time I saw you, you were sitting at the table at her listening party and you telling me about this woman. And she, because every time I get to you, Ariam is in the Aria, Ariam, whatever her name Arian. is. Arian. You know that girl name. That's my Arian. friend. Arian. Okay, Michelle, so I'm telling you. You want to take shots? I'm going to take shots back. We could take shots all day. You ain't telling me nothing. Um, and you are jealous of me because of what? Why would I be jealous? You old as you, you look like you are a 40 year old as and don't even single without a Wikipedia you page. Like you look like the Woo! boy in my shoe. Say, I got I'm more shit under my belt than you will ever have. Because you old and enough, bitch. You're you 40. Look at you. You got you one deflated ass cheek. It's, it's, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not working. It's not It doesn't have to work. The bitch is crazy. She's psycho. That's why they put mental people in stray jackets. Bring it down, cause my head'll start spinning. I chop on your trick. Try it. Try it. Try it. F with me if you want to. It's not a good day. Okay? Now this back bitch to is that shaking one. the table. <laughs> Don't shake unless you're ready to get shook. You very have no receipts. You're very jealous. You f everybody you in the industry. Jealous. You have you no so receipts. Okay, you I can f Oh, you f but you, you, you gonna lie? Now, don't make up no f on me, bitch. Hey, hey, don't you make, don't you hey, hey, ever lie on me. Uh, don't violate me. I've been through too much. I'm nobody's punk. Run far away, cause you're a I Every know. time I see you, like, every I time like I her. see you, like every time I see oh, you. Bitch, shut your ass up, you stupid bitch. You ain't gonna do shit I'm from Memphis. I need a fing with this bitch ass. I'm not gonna okay. play them games. I'm from Memphis. I don't play I don't that, Carlos. I just wanted to come out the bathroom and I wanted to apologize for my napkin. Excuse me. Me and my napkin apologize to you and your lump. See these cries out here? They come from anger that I cannot beat this bitch ass right now. You know me, Mimi. 
you, she felt like you were being inappropriate in her functions, and... I don't give a f what a bitch got to say. Well, that once you anybody. put your hands on me, I will be at your house today. Because once you put your hands on me, it is over. Better luck next time. Maybe she won't shake a table no more. Maybe she won't lie on me. Maybe she won't call me out my name. I'm, we're going to see each other again. We're going to see each other again. You got to arrest me today. Trust me. Trust me you got to arrest me today. Let's go again. Let's go again. And action. Yo, where are you? It's your time to be shooting. You're nowhere to be found. What are you doing? Hit me back. And cut. Where is this girl at? A lot is at stake. This video is actually the setup to the Boss Chick album. This is what you're gonna see first, so this has to happen the right way. Okay. Why are you so late? What the f is the problem? What you mean, why am I late? You're two hours late. You're supposed to be here at 11. This costs money, so we gonna be spending more money being here for another two hours. Like, why are you late? What is the issue? I'm here, but I'm really not here. And me and you ain't here, okay? You know where I was at? Picking up the last little bit of the clothes, being that I don't have a stylist and I have to style myself. So do what a motherfucking record label's supposed to do. How about that? First, he cut the stylist from the budget and then yelled at me for being the artist and the stylist and I'm doing two jobs. What the is all the attitude for? You act like you're doing for me. What, what you mean I act like I'm doing for you? Are you saying you only do things for me? I ain't talking about personal life. But you know this what? Is, all I'm, that I'm, that is yeah, but that is different. No, no it's all no, matching it's together, together right about now. Don't forget, I'm a mama. Uh, Kai's school is going on. It's a lot on my plate as well. And I hope you understand that. That f***s up my vibe when I have to sit here and argue with you about this and then I got to go get in front of the camera and act like everything. Already my vibe got when everybody is saying, where's Rashida? It's two hours. Well, you know what? Guess what? I That's get here when I must get here. Really? How about that? I got to do. And if we going to make yeah, this happen, let's job. make it happen. Do because that. I'm the one who got to sit in front of the cool. camera and work all damn day okay. while you sit around and fiddle faddle on your That's phone. your job. I do you know, my part. Whatever. Rashida doesn't get that she puts this whole project in jeopardy when we go over budget. If this video don't come together, I might have to just rethink my role as the manager. The way it works is like this. Yes, I'm the artist, but you are the label. Together it goes hand in hand. And it pisses me off that I gotta sit here and argue with you at a time where I need to step in front of the camera and be beautiful and go out here and go ham and do what I need to do and you wanna piss me off. I finally found out where Stevie was staying, so I decided to take him in I should have burned his stuff. But I decided to be the bigger person and drop it off. What's this? Some of your stuff. I just wanted anything that reminded me of him out of my life. Why you come over here like this? I thought you should have your stuff. I understand why you're feeling how you're feeling. Why is that? Because it's like, I've been on some reckless mm -hmm. but it doesn't take away from the fact that I still love you. And I want to make sure that we can get on the page or on some type of page together. You spend more time with that bitch than you do me and your daughter? You don't even want to be around me. Why you know not? Why not? Because you, you you're around screaming. this bitch. Because you, you steady screaming. I don't want to be with, with a man with that's him. with a bitch every day. You okay. do way more than work with her. You manage her, you manage her, her ass and everything under the sun. That's what I do? Yeah, that's what you do. How you you got the bitch pregnant, so yeah, that's yeah, what you I do. I apologize for that. I'm sorry. Uh, if I got pregnant by the next man, is that going to fly with you? But she's just going to scream until you just feel the need to I stop. want you to understand where I'm coming I from. I understand where you're coming from. Where am I coming from, then? You're, you're uptight. You're mad. Uptight would be the wrong word to use for what, what I am right now. How, you, how can we get this on the page so we can just keep it calm and cool? How, where can we start? You tell me where we can get a starting point. Somewhere we can sit down where you can't yell. Then what? Then, you just, let's for just you talk. to say what? No, for me to say what I need to say without you screaming, I don't react well. Can we sit in the therapist? You know room what? I don't react. Now yeah. you're talking. Yeah. You want to go in front of a therapist? Yeah. I'm going to take him up on the offer of seeing the therapist. Something tells me that the therapist will think that this is just as f***ed up as I do. Can't nobody tell me about you, especially no bitch that's only known you for a couple of months. And you tell her she threatened me again, we gonna have problems. What she say to you? Why don't you ask her what she said to me? Because I haven't did to you or her. So if anybody needs to be mad or threatening anybody, it should be me. You're right. 
Honestly, the reason why Stevie can't check his artist is because it's too much emotions involved. And he got this bitch feeling so comfortable that she feel like she can say whatever to me. And that's a problem. You got this bitch threatening me. I got a threat in Yeah, you got a threat in You think I don't have somebody threaten my family? Wait, 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 wait. First of wait, all, wait, you wait. should have this right. in check with right. the bitch. You're not right. calling right. me, text me, You're nothing. Right. You're right. Yeah, so you got a threat in me. Don't you even. You up on me? You might as well let me get a kiss. As long as you <laughs> with that you and me. When I do see Mimi, it's like a bunch of rah, rah, mother You a you piece of you know, it's everything and then some, but I'm willing to do whatever it takes to make things right. I hate what you did to us. I can't believe it. Yo, why, why is she driving all over my joints? You should have picked it up. This Marry Me record is a female anthem. You know that, right? So I hear. So you Boy, you know. Like you wanna put it around ah, the what? Come on now. Put it on to make him wanna marry me. I put it on to make him wanna marry me. I put it on to make him wanna marry me. And it's real talk. You know how many girls can relate to this? Wanna get married who is married and know they put it on them? They down to make them wanna marry me. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, boy, you know you want to put a ring on my finger. This love ain't so good, I should never be single. He love the way I throw it like a picture on the mound. Put it on him, make him want to wipe a bitch down. I can ride it like a cowgirl. <laughs> you know, like, I've been thinking about this Marry Me record, and I really, really feel like we need to do a real video and really step everything up, meaning real director, real production, better cameras, more than one camera. You know what I'm saying? Like a total concept storyboard, the whole shebang. I'm gonna give Rashida what she want, but at the same time, she's gonna do it my way. I need Rashida to be 100 on this video. Sometimes she's just prone to just phoning in, not being 100, not being focused. So I needed to be right there. You know, there's times when you put in Rashida to a project and we can feel it. Right. There's times when you doing it, when you, you know, when there's that urgency of, okay, I need to rip this down. Like, there's a different Rashida. Okay, and, and that's where I'm at. Are you ready? I'm, because I'm, I'm gonna be ready, because the last thing that I'm gonna okay, be comfortable so with is you telling me that I'm half-assed and some Like, give me the grind and I'll give you my 100%. You need to be understanding that you know I'm gonna deliver because that's what the I do, right. and when I do deliver, you need to be ready to take this project to the next level. When it's time to be somewhere, when it's time for something to be done, I'm going to be front and center. Amanda L. from Facebook wants to know, Carly, how old are you really? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to know how old Carly is. Look, I'm beautiful, I'm young, I'm talented. I never tell my age. Okay, so anybody want to take a guess on how old Carly is? <laughs> 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 I look 50, I look 40. You did your Wikipedia page a couple days ago. It says 1985. Hey, Michelle, you're the same age as me, so stop it. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> we all know Carly Red. She gets to shout now stuff because she don't want her truth to be told. The truth of the situation is she marched with Martin Luther King in 1968. <laughs> But you know, Mimi don't lie about her age. If you was born in 1985, bitch, you was 14 in LA. Well, you look like it don't matter, bitch. You look like Michael Jackson in Thrill. Oh. 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 Get the Jack Daniels for this hoe, cause she your needs it. That's for me. But your child is older than me. Jackson. We'll get to all of that. Bitch, your neck is wrinkled. Oh, come on now. That's your neck. You bitch, you old. So it don't things. matter. Ripping. Bitch, you yeah. got a rip in your. You got no walls. You got no walls. Bitch, no got a receipt. I'm tired of this old ass Harriet Tubman, bitch. Harley, you rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because you always seem to be in somebody else's business. What do you say about that? I was just keeping it real for my girl. Like, I was just letting her know. Because if I didn't tell her, then I would seem fake. 
and I didn't want to be fake. Because she's ancient, she's fossil red, she's been here before. Shut up, bipolar. You're ugly, and you look like the bottom of my shoe. Get your teeth, have you guys seen her teeth before she got it fixed? Oh my God, a hot mess. Where's your but child? You got it fixed now. But where's your daughter? But where's your daughter? Okay, let's talk about this. Where's your son? Where's your, I raised him. It's a no, no, no. I raised him. No, no, you did not. You. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. So back to Dr. Jeff again. I only agreed to this therapy session so I could watch Stevie fall apart in front of my eyes. Sure, I would love for my family to work out, but I got this gut feeling this dude is still up to no good. Tell me what's been going on. I know we're here for a couple of reasons, but yeah. I want to very quickly see how you guys have been. Things have been good. Getting better. Where, where, where do you see some of the improvements? I mean, it's the communication. communication. It's been a big help for me, you know, and I'm sure it's been a big help for her. Now that we are at this point, there's still another major issue. Absolutely. And we're talking about? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. I do love both of them, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, do I sugarcoat the situation or do I bring them both to Dr. Jeff and you know, put it all on the table. Jocelyn, you're... My artist. Your artist. My friend. My business partner. She's your business partner, or I'm your business partner. She's my business partner, too. So we're all business partners. Yeah. And you want me to feel comfortable with this situation. Hmm. Mm. Can we do that at the same time? Yeah. Can we do that again? <laughs> hmm. Mm. I can see right through all of this. It's so clear and apparent to me that those two are And if he thinks this is about to be some three-way he's clearly mistaken. Well, first of all, let me tell you what I'm seeing. Take a look under your shoe. I think you just stepped into some stuff yeah. again, Stevie. And I think you're trying to moonwalk your way out of this. You realize this thing about business. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. You must be Jocelyn. Yes, I am. I I'm Dr. Jeff. Nice That's to meet nice you. Okay. I don't know why would Stevie want me to go to this therapy section. Like, I don't want to talk to y'all. Like, I feel like it should have been her, Stevie and Mimi, not Jocelyn. What the f am I doing there? We were just uh, talking about the arrangement that you and Stevie have. What is your knowledge as to the arrangement? Well, you know, when Stevie and I got together, we spent a lot of time together, like literally three months together straight. I didn't know anything about Mimi at all. You didn't know anything? No, I didn't know anything about Mimi, not at the beginning. To me, it was you, you was just like the baby mom. Jocelyn, it's interesting because you're a good looking woman and she's a good looking woman. And you know Stevie. Did you really think that all she was was just the baby mama? Well, let's be honest. When we was at the studio that day and she came in, I was recording, so I didn't really, I wasn't really paying any mind to, thank you, baby. I wasn't really paying any mind to anything that she Are was you serious. Seeing Stevie dab the sweat off Jocelyn's nose, my instant reaction was, "Are you serious? Like you just blatantly disrespectful. Like you just don't give a." At all. Stevie. Yes. What the hell was that? My nose was sweating. My nose was sweating. Yeah, was sweating. My nose always sweats. Crazy. Stevie, I got to call you out on this one. OK? Right. There's a term in psychology we call passive aggressive. That was passive aggressive? Passive behavior? aggressive means that you have maybe some anger or there's something you want to say or do, and you just can't come out and say or do it. So you do something very passive like wiping the sweat off of the top of her nose in front of the woman who you're trying to continue to build a relationship with. What the hell was that? I ain't seen nothing wrong with it. I, I, of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. So that you didn't you're trying see to, anything wrong with you're it. You're trying to continue on the relationship with her? I just want to make sure I'm, 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 I'm I want to know that. right now, Jocelyn. Are you I'm, guys living together? Yes, I'm in the house. Yes, I have been there. Get up, get up. Get up. Stevie can go to hell for all I care. Two days ago, he gonna come knocking on my door, talking about he wanna have sex. But did you forget to tell me that you had Mimi staying at your house? I'm gonna beat your ass. I got it, I got it, I got it. Let go of me! 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 Let go of
when I saw Jocelyn jump up and WWF his ass, what was I supposed to do? I'ma just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. Ah. Oh, no! Yeah. No! Yes! No! Let go of me! Okay, I'm let her go. No! I don't let give that a f who it is! Come here! Come on! Yep. Done. This ride has been crazy. I have been a bitch to my man. <laughs> But, you know, love conquers all over here in Frostland. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, we've assembled ourselves together here today so that this man and this woman can renew the vows they made to each other 12 years ago. Our love has stood taller than any building, as high as any plane can go, and I just want us to continue to love each other unconditionally, and everything else can fall through the wayside. Do you promise to renew the vows which you made when you first united in marriage 12 years ago? I do. I now pronounce you recommitted to each other for life. You may now salute your bride. Me and Rashida are definitely having our mojo swing right now because we're like in love like the beginning again and it's a great feeling and I'm like, yo, I'm not trying to lose this. I gotta keep this. The 12 more years and 12 more and yes. 12 more. <laughs> I may not be mainstream yet, but baby, sky's the limit. Your girl is on the way. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this moment. Tonight's the night I'm gonna ask Carly Red if she would spend the rest of her life with me. It just comes a time in every man's life that it's time to step it up. This is the woman that I wanna be with. This is the woman that I feel for. When you're with somebody that you really feel like this is it, it's like you're gonna open your emotions and your feelings up. You're gonna take your guards down. Well, here goes everything. Hey. Hey, hey Don. I'm good. You look nice. My situation with Zeno has gotten a little bit complicated. I moved out the house, and we don't talk like we used to. Right now, I'm interested to hear what he has to say for himself. You know, I care about you, and I love you. I know, like, I can be jealous. I know that. And, you know, I know, like, my temper probably flares up because of that, you know, but there's, like, nothing I wouldn't do for you. But you know that I definitely, definitely, sincerely you know, fell for you. I have my doubts. I have my doubts. You know, if there was any doubts, I wouldn't have did that. I've had this for a while now. What are you saying? I mean, if you doubt that I loved you, I'm trying to say that, does this show any doubt? Are you ready for that? Are you ready? I'm not ready. The first thing she says, I doubt that you love me. I don't know how she can have doubts in me. I, I did everything I could to show her that I loved her. So right then and there showed me. And I just looked in her eyes and I just, I couldn't do it. I don't want this, you know what I'm saying, to be any more hard Why on me as it is. Why would you come and bring me a ring and then you don't even give it to me? I've Who had does that? Ring. Nah, you up. But Zeno is a mother who the brings a ring and then snatches that back? Who does that? You know what? You. You can use me, right? I'm not using you. But you I can't love you. Me. You feel me? Me getting with you, Benzino, was a good look for you. Because I put you on. Because if you didn't get with me, you wouldn't be the you are now. That's it. We ain't rocking no more. Carly said she had her doubts, but in the end, Zeno had his too. Ruben is right. Time to speak out. I'm tired of being the other woman while Mimi and Steve is just living this regular life like nothing happened. If Mimi wants to get involved in his business, I'll get her involved. I'm gonna get straight to the point. You know, you and I know that when I first met him back in December, he didn't come home for three months. So I'm gonna just tell you like this. I know who baby I have in my stomach, and you know too. I'm disgusted. She's talking all this to me. I'm like, okay, Jocelyn, if you think I'm gonna lose my cool because you tell me you're pregnant by Stevie, it's not gonna happen. Baby, you're not worth it. Jocelyn, I know what I'm dealing with when it comes to Stevie. I'm not a 
mouthful, I know exactly what I got. As far as you are concerned, you're a stripper who's trying to get on. I was a stripper, on. and I'm not trying to get on. And I was a stripper. I haven't been to the around. I haven't been to the Every months. which way from Sunday. Now you're pregnant by him? Yes. Do you even know who you're pregnant I'm by? I'm about your man. I get it. You want to be a star. I get it. You get pregnant and this, that. And, uh, bitch, please. This pulled you out of the strip club in VIP. At least I know what I'm dealing with, and I'm getting myself. I know exactly. Four what months. I'm dealing with Four months. This is him Trust right here. Me. This is him right here texting me. See? Why is he texting me while we talking? As we're having our conversation, she says that he's sending her text messages. So I said, well, tell him to come up here. I don't understand why I was at this meeting by myself anyway. Oh, there he go. What you letting her know? What's going on? She tells me she's pregnant by you. That's what she said? Do I be every day? I don't know. Do I be every day? It is his baby. What are you doing with that? I don't know any man in a right mind who's going to carry around the next bitch pregnancy test in their pocket. Who does that? So when's the last time y'all About five days ago. A month ago. ago. About five, five days ago. Five days ago. About a month ago. I'm not going to argue with him so about it. A month, month ago, it very well could be her baby if she's pregnant. I'm not ago. arguing with you about how the last time I That maybe. is not even the case. So now it's maybe. I mean, that it's been a month, so, you know been a month, so maybe. The part that just really disgusts me is you're sloppy You this bitch and she could potentially be pregnant by you, and then you want to come home and lay down with me? Really? That's what we are? That's cute. That's what we are? I'm obviously, she's pregnant. You think it's cute? Is she pregnant? You, you got the test in your head. You got the test in your <laughs> head. You carry hey. the don't say stupid, stupid. Yo, chill. No, you Yo, chill. Good luck with your baby. Get your hand out of my face. Get your hand out of my face. Where you going, Mimi? Come here, man. Good luck. Talk to your bitch and have a good night. Where everybody at? Uh, Kirk promised me that this launch party was going to be off the chain. He had everything under control. I didn't have nothing to worry about, and this party was going to be packed. But guess what? It ain't. You was telling me, hold tight, I got, this is what we gonna do, this is what we gonna do. I guess I should have been involved in order for it to make okay, it turn so you out think right. I'm because I'm supposed to hold people in and bring them in here. People gonna be No, but what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to oversee yourself and everybody who's supposed to be helping you okay, put this together to so that Greg ultimately it could be, be a good here. look. Why is it always gotta be something? Come on, man, tighten up. You got them smirking. Listen, I don't think this is funny. I don't have time for this today. I'm never making you happy. I'm never doing enough. I'm breaking my neck here. Is it, what do you want from me? Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Oh, y'all make me feel so special. Everybody looks so sexy. I appreciate everybody for coming out for the launch of my new project. Frost and I wanted to try something different with the project and basically just kind of showcase the new video, which is my new single. It's called Marry Me and we're gonna play it right about now. So ladies and gentlemen, here's my new video and my new single, Marry Me. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. This Monica's not gonna work. No, we're gonna have to... Needs to turn around. I am so sorry about the technical difficulties. Sometimes my team just be slipping. The video is going to be playing back here on this screen, so if you guys don't mind, if you could turn around and watch it from this screen right here, I would greatly appreciate it. The last time I saw Jocelyn, she was totally against us working together. So I was the bigger person. I called her up to cool down the tension. Cause how are we gonna make good music if we fighting all the time? What's up? So um, let me just get straight to the point. I bought you here today cause every time we meet, you always coming at me on some rah rah. Okay. You know, it's a little tension in the air. So I bought you here today so we can clear the air. How are we gonna do that? 
We gonna be working together, obviously. Are we? I mean, if management likes it, then management likes it. You know how the industry exactly. works, management. Okay, well, your manager can't agree with my manager if he's no longer my manager. Stevie's so, not managing you? He's still managing me, of course, but I'm doing more things for myself. So you still want to work with him as a producer for our song? You don't have to do a song with me because you can just work with Stevie. You can call him. What's the change of heart? I feel like I work better without Stevie on top of my back, you know? For us being personally together, I don't think it's going to work. Wow. You know, so. Just, I'm shocked. I don't need Stevie at all, and I'm going to make it no matter what. So Carly want to go work with him? Be my guest. Now that you're telling me all this, I have to admit, I was right. Right about what? You were messing with Stevie J. But you wasn't right. Because I've never done anything in front of you for you to think that I was dating Stevie. You just assumed. You didn't see us do anything. All I know is, at the end of the day, you were messing with Stevie. Why you was you so worried about me messing with Stevie anyway? No, you I just want to mess with him. Tell me. Um, because you were so worried about me messing with Stevie. Why with Stevie? When guess who I with? I don't, I don't know and I don't care. Benzino. You mess with Benzino? Where y'all started messing around? I'm at the studio. You look like you in love. <laughs> <laughs> Them lashes went like this. <laughs> Carly. <laughs> what happened? Y'all met at the studio well, first. I look like you when you were crazy over Steve. Nah, nah, I never did that. Uh, what? You did worse. Please. <laughs> this ain't about you me. This is about you. Upside this, down is not, this is not about me. This is about you and Vicino. So what went on? What do you think about? You know, that's like my brother, because Stevie, you know, I, I love him. him. You know, but just make sure you do him right. Oh. Or you will have sure a problem. He right. Oh, he gonna do you right, because he's a man. <laughs> just be happy. I'm happy for him. Be happy for me, too. I can't be that happy for you yet, because I got to see where we going with this, because I'm still mad at your ass. I know she's, like, real fake and phony, and she's from L.A. They all fake and phony. They always put on that front, eh, 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 my name's Carly, eh, bitch, shut up. You're from the hood. But I feel like I should give her a chance because maybe she just has to be that way because everybody made her that way. I can still be mad at you, but I don't hold grudges. What happened, happened, and now we're here. So, you right. Oh. Louis Prada Gucci, Louis Prada Gucci. Pop them tags, pop them tags. I know some high class. Bougie chicks, this ad to a day on some movie <laughs> Got them black cards, unlimited Comes for me, but the style of me I want the best for better I put the work so I deserve to spend it on Whatever, whatever not bad, not bad. Stevie tells me to come in and you know, I see her on stage dancing. I'm like, what the hell is going on? She doesn't know how to dance, get over it. Just be sexy if you don't know how to dance. What's going on? You know, she's let me hear music and just wanted to see how she rock. What's the meaning of that? Basically, you know, you and her hooking up doing a few songs together. Did you run that by me before this? Because I didn't, I didn't know anything about this. I'm just finding this out. I'm running it by you now. Why don't you have a seat? We're just having a meeting. I'm okay. I like to stand up. You like I'm cool. to stand up? Yeah. Just sit down, though. I mean, we all, we're all sitting in this meeting. It's like a sit-down meeting. I'm confused at why I didn't know about this before it happened. Just sit down. Let me tell you what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but it's a good business of me doing a song with a 40-year-old that really is not doing what I'm doing. Where are you coming at? I just explained to him my whole affiliation. So. She, she her management is cash money. Who is she? She's with them. OK, well, then. She can be with them. They asked me if I can get a few songs with you guys together and see what it sound like. You know, suddenly so you willing to do that? No, no, I'm not willing to minute, do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what, what does she do? I mean, she's a dancer, she's a singer. Okay, she's well, an entertainer. well I don't wow. need no background dancer. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need you to do this. No, I work too hard to get to where I'm at to just do a song with her just because it's great business. What about me? What about my work? This is about a business, so you put your emotions to the That's side. That's the difference it's between me and being in the music industry not or, uh, for a long time, because I understand the politics. Politically, it's a great move, because I respect what it is that Cash Money brings to the table. Well, then y'all can go ahead. Why don't you go do a song with Nicki Minaj? Ain't she down with Cash Money? Why she got to do a song with me? Calm down, right? I need you to do this for me. What you want to tell me? I do a song with her because of you. One song, and that's all cool. I'm doing. Cool. The only reason why I'm doing this song with you is because I respect him, and I'm loyal to him, and I trust him. I respect the fact that he's a producer, and he knows what he's doing. I know. I work with this man every day. I'm going to keep it moving. I appreciate everything. I, I just want to get you on the studio. You know what I'm saying? 
It's not for her, trust me, because I don't like it. It's for us. It's only for you. Let's start with you, Rashida. You'd heard Kay Michelle tell you the story so many times, and there were points where you empathized with her and understood her story. What was different that time? What made you take a different position? To be honest with you, I've been friends with them for a very long, long time, okay. and I'm very, very close to his wife, you know? And I, I heard both sides of the story. What are your thoughts now on the on the subject, on everything that you've heard from Kay Michelle? You know what? To be honest with you, it ain't got nothing to do with me, but at the end of the day, I don't know if I believe Kay Michelle. Okay. Oh, wow. Thank you. Regardless of anything, for three years, I've been helping women who went through domestic violence. So regardless of how crazy K. Michelle is or how I act, I don't say I act right. I don't always act right. I never have said I was this picture-perfect woman. What I said was, what happened to me is what happened to me. And Rashida, you don't have to believe it, but you sure sat there every episode getting your check. Damn Listen straight. Listen to sure did. did what it was. You sure cried at everything you with me in my hand. But when the first episode came out and it got tough, you got to run it. Oh, I ain't run. Yes, you did. I know the f got didn't. tough. No, I didn't. When run. it got tough, the boss left, and we went to oh, Sweet Valley High. Oh, you want to say the boss left? The boss we got to. First of all, this not a Twitter say his name. Please me tell me. Scarecrow to shut up. You oh, be quiet for a minute. Let me say something. Well, ain't I'm nobody talking. leave. You know what? Because to I be honest with you, no, 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 we can sit I up. I got you. I'm just talking. We, we women. We yeah, we are women. But let me say this. I had to put two and two together and say, huh, something don't make no damn sense. What don't make? How I get out a $2 million record deal on okay, everything? They didn't here. let me go. Listen. Like they let you go on yours. They, they didn't, didn't let oh, me go. Oh, bitch, they didn't let me they go. Didn't, they didn't let they me didn't go. Let me I go. had to get out of mine. I had to get out of mine. So let's keep that. You're straddling the fence, Rashida. When it got tough, I oh, really? listen to you. Oh, I listen I about your marriage. Sense? I watch you disrespect your husband on I TV. I disrespect my I husband. Watch Let me tell you something. A husband is something you when want, you got, something I, I have. Okay? I Let's keep that clear. I ain't want, nobody gonna marry no crazy you, ass bitch. You got bitch. to lose him, disrespect him on oh, TV. Oh, I ain't gonna lose That's all I'm Please saying. Please believe that. I'll that lose. man you describe you want is that man. And you not gonna get him. It's my story. Yeah, and that's a lie. You get done. Wow. Yeah, wow. You should my bitch. You should have been my ass. Do what you do. Do something with your nappy ass. You bipolar, schizophrenic, you insecure ass bitch. Why? Yeah, ass. let me have my mother. I got your back. I got your back. Nah, I ain't got it. I was nice. Do anybody else believe her ass? Do anybody else believe her ass? Do anybody else believe that dumb ass hoe? Ask that question. Do anybody else believe this bitch? Yeah, they ain't seen me like this. This is cute. Cute. Cute yes. for babies. Okay. This is sexy. It's sexy. It is. Grown and sexy. It's grown and sexy. Got your buckle. <laughs> Stevie's been real sweet since the other night, but I've been through this before, and I got a surprise in store for him. I have presented some paperwork for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like you to read over it carefully. Oh. Is this real right here? That's, yes it is. I would like to be partners with you. 20%? 20%. But, hold on. You didn't read. We got pages here to read. You didn't read. Who drew this up? Who drew this up? My lawyer. You wildin'. I knew he was gonna buck. But it's a lot less than the 50% I should be getting for putting up with his bull I would like to Show. take interest in your business. I know you're starting a lot of new projects. I know you're working with a lot of new artists, and I want to help you with it. But I'm not giving up 20%. How about 10? 10? 10%. That's bull that's, that's, no. That's what managers get. That's what I that's was going to be. That's what Diddy was getting. So do you want me to be involved or you don't? Hey, this is like new to me. You never came at me like this. Read it over, take it to your lawyer. But this is what I want to do. So you really serious about I'm being seri a part of my business? Yes. I just want to make you smile again. I do whatever I got to to make sure you're mine. I want to sing you a song. Right now? Yeah. When Mimi hit me with the paperwork, I was like, wow, that's tough. But she's been down for a long time. So I got to show her that I love and I care about it and I want to see her eat too. So we'll figure something out.
Girl, I hope and pray that love treats you fair Because the angel sent you, please don't go nowhere Ooh, but if you do, just know I'll follow you Cause your love can never be replaced and can't nobody but you keep a smile on my face Whoa. Cause she was whispering sweet nothings The truth is, I still love this man Even though he takes every opportunity to mess this relationship up I love you, I love you too 